So here I am today in the Chub and Thai market. This is the big market here in, uh, in Saigon. We're gonna go inside, check her out. Uh, take a look on the outside here. You can see all the motorcycle parking. There are eight million motorcycles licensed here in Saigon. And uh, I'll show you some footage of going through the streets. Once you get over the, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, uh, feeling it's actually quite fun but there's no way I would rent a scooter and drive through Saigon these people are the masters of scooters so this is a historical building built a long time ago by the French it wasn't originally a market but it is now so um, let's see if we can update this deluxe unit that I have here this trucker set that I wear just because it's mesh and um, it works for the heat. But uh, I am in Asia, so let's see what they have. I'll keep it open. Okay, I'll come up with a plan. I want to replace this. I picked this thing up in uh, Thailand for 20 bucks 10 years ago, and I've been using it ever since. It's only uh, canvas and I'm trying to get something more um, durable here as well as this which is Medita's bag stuff on the table uh, but it's thin as paper which normally is great but um, here in, um, in Saigon I've been warned many times about theft and uh, criminality so they're saying that even if they can't get in the zipper they'll cut the bag so better to have something thicker. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm looking for a thicker, safer way to shop. I don't know. Exist here in Saigon without getting ripped off. Uh, I'll give you a little demonstration on that in a minute. Oh, we got in behind us watching this. Hello. Hello. All right, here we go. Watching videos from friends of mine it's really hard to capture the size <laughs> and uh, I don't even have a word for this abundance of things there is here at this market. There's nothing I've ever seen before, not at this level. Oh, here's one with all the holes. I want to buy this half. Can you tell me how much it is? One, two, zero. How much? Try again. One, two, zero. Yeah? Okay. Thank you. I'll take it. Yeah, okay. get, get money to you? Pay you? Okay. So as you can see, I had some success. This hat is mesh the whole thing, so this should help me deal with the heat, I hope. Um, I tried to uh, film me buying it, but it was, I tried to film me buying it, but it was just, it was ridiculous. I had about nine people, none spoke any English. I finally found one person who also didn't speak English, but at least they helped me. So the end result is I have a new chapeau on the market. I paid 1200 Vietnamese baht, sorry, Vietnamese baht, Vietnamese dong, um, which is this much right here. You see that? Is that coming up? I hope so. Okay. So now we're going to head outside and uh, might get a catch a bit of a breeze because it's about 100 degrees in here today. It seems to be the, uh, the running temperature here in Vietnam, about 100 degrees or uh, 30 Celsius. So let's do a little shopping on the outside of the market uh, because I've been told by many people that prices are better. However, I think I only paid about $5 for this Nike hat. I'm sure it's official Nike to, to be completely clear. So here we are again back at the big parking lot out front. I'd say this market is for the sure footed because I can hardly stand. 
And nerves of steel would also be helpful. Okay, I see these people have some bags. More lady stuff, but let's go take a look. So this is my selection. I think it's gonna work. What else do you have for men? Is this like for a man? Is this for men? For men? Men? Yeah. I like it really matters. It's funny with all the people here and everything here, you'd think you'd go to find something and never find it. I go into the very first place and I find an incredible update to what I've had. Uh, Oh, black too. Oh, okay. Black, black. Ooh, black is close. Black or blue? Well, a deal could not be made. Uh, the lady wanted 250,000 dong. I offered 200,000 dollars dong, and she would not lower her price at all. So, um, I walked away, which is what you have to be able to do. Thanks so much for watching The Rusty Traveler. Please subscribe, share us out, and give us a like. Stay tuned for more videos from Southeast Asia as we continue to post new videos from the field. Thank you, and we will see you on the road. Bye-bye.